Welcome back everybody, today we're going to be doing a showcase on Ainz, he was just released. If you didn't know, you get him from completing the side story, I will show you very quickly how to do that. Just in case if you're curious, all you got to do is go to this little tab right here, click on view story, and all we have right now are 5 acts. After you complete act 5, you gain access to Ainz, but let's come back to what you're actually here for, and that's of course Ainz Gown, and whether or not he's decent in PvP, and Guild War, Arena, etc. So first off, as you can see, my build for Ainz has 18,000 HP, 1300 defense, 244 speed, and I have a mix of ER and F, but I have him on Proof of Valor just so that I don't get one shot. Let's see if he survives. Hopefully, he can be paired both as a slow and fast player. Let's get into it. Okay, since the servers are exploding and I cannot actually properly see how good he is, I'm going to be trying Ainz in a couple of Guild War fights. I'm going to try a knock wall top sort of defense as well just to give myself a little bit you know, a little bit of safety. I've got a barrier with the Arya, and hopefully with enough defense and enough barriers and the fact that they can't press buttons, everything should be fine. Let's get into it. Okay, so we soul burn. Hopefully, if we hit the Karina, we definitely, definitely win. Oh, okay. Okay, this is kind of not what I wanted. Maybe since we have candy sealed, we can just throw the bomb onto Karina. Okay, Karina's not the problem, it's definitely Candy. Despite us stealing, it's definitely Candy. Candy is the problem, Candy is the problem, Candy is the problem. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, nice, nice proc. I've got my ER. I think my Aria and my... Aria and my Ein should be fine, I'm fairly certain. Okay, we've got additional tries. Nice silence, okay, huge silence. Stun everyone. Okay, no stun. I mean, Ainz is about to pop, right? I mean, I've, I've obviously got, like, Arya and stuff set up here, but... Am I crazy? Like, this... I mean, it, nice Arya showcase, I mean, by all means, right? But even if I don't end up dealing with the, the Landy here, like, she's got eight turns, basically, I think, until she's gone. Okay, we'll let the, we'll let the pop go off. Oh. oh, nice. I was gonna say, we can let the pop go off, but... Nice. Oh, that guy just death broke me. Uh, and nice, because now when we hit this, that's pretty satisfying. I, I don't know. That's pretty satisfying, and I get it. I think a lot of people think that Ainz is going to be really good for Guild War and for Arena, for obvious reasons, uh, because you don't have to really deal with all the BS of whether or not you land or not, and they can't... Oh, wait, actually. Huh. I have my S3 up again. That's kind of a short cooldown. Okay, I definitely think that Knockwell, by the way, would pair really well with Ainz. But whether or not you'll actually be able to take the turn with Ainz, like, that's, that's, you know, that's up for debate. Uh, ooh, this got reset. But she can't counter. Okay. Done. Wait, it resisted. This guy has enough ER to resist my Ainz, but also enough F to tag on my Aria? What the... Okay, so similar kind of idea here. I'm just gonna protect the Ainz. The Ainz will definitely take care of either the Lionheart Sermia or the Karina, either or. And then we have Shuru, just because, well, the Laia, or the Laika, rather, is going to sleep me, so... We'll do a lot of damage. We have Cascade. We can stun a bunch of times. Let's get into it. I'm ready to see Ainz rock and roll. All right. Now, here's the part that really matters. So... The second that someone gets slept here... Okay, so we get to Cascade, push everyone back. I mean, ultimately, the Ainz just has to throw the Death Break onto either, either character, right? Okay, there's already a Defense Break on the... There's already a Defense Break on the Karina, so I'm not going to touch that. I don't think Lion... Ooh, actually, we should probably get Lionheart Sarmia out of here. Oh, that did a lot more damage than I... Uh, uh. Okay, I think Lionheart Sermia shouldn't be able to deal anything to the to the Ainz here. I'm pretty sure we should be fine. Let's let's try and stun it just to be safe. Oh, that is a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. Oh, we need to stun this ASAP. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay. Huge provoke. Huge provoke. Huge provoke. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. All right, all right. 
Taking more turns. Karina's about to get one shot. Actually, if we just stun the... <gasps> That's so big. Wait, no, no, no. Please don't. Okay, nice. Pretty much if we just stun here, we should be fine, right? The death sentence? Okay, okay, okay. So we just gotta sit there and then something will eventually get one shot, right? That, that, hey. Works for me, works for me. I get a, I get a Sharoon game. My idol gown survives. We get to use the pop. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And it was an Elvira game. Okay, okay. Uh. Ah, uh, surely we don't have to see what happens when we get a second S3 from Ainz, right? That just, uh, please. Does this pop? Please pop. Please. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Sick, sick, sick. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking about the top team, but I'm going to try and pocket him and see if he can survive a little bit with, with the light characters. Okay, he's probably gonna die. This is the last fight. I just want to see how good he is in case if we just end up running it into the, you know, into the in the candy and then maybe the stun won't matter. I have a little bit of ER and stuff like that and I also have a cleanse. Let's find out. Let's go, Eins. Okay, so... I definitely want to run this on the candy. And then just let it, just let it, like, play out. Right? Just let it play out. Okay, I have a cleanse on my Troublemaker Crozette. Okay, all right, all right, all right. That's fine, that's fine. I've got, I've got, I've got backline mitigation. Nice, we got another counter. All right, it's Troublemaker Crozette, okay? Like, this is insane. I have Proof of Valor. I also have Idols Cheer. Although people say that, like, well, if you use a light character, you instantly get one shot. That's not really the point, right? The point here is to see if you can kind of get away with... Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, the point here is to see if you can get away with one-shotting characters like maybe Captain Landy, despite being light, and I think that should be the case here right now. She should get one shot. Nice counter. She's about to get her ult. But we heal up. And she's just gone! She's just gone! She's just gone! She's just gone. I, my S3 is up a surprising amount of time, by the way. Or it's like up pretty much every time that I need it to be. I'm gonna throw this on the- Oh, I got 15 presented. A few moments later. Okay, please. Please, please, please. I landed once before. All right. Okay. Okay, okay. He's silenced. Okay, my last rider- Even though the last rider crowd is biking, my troublemaker Crozette still has an extra life. I mean, these horses, by the way, from, from last rider crowd don't actually look like they're enough to, to one-shot me either. Just as a side note, just as a side note, I don't think it's quite enough for people to, or I don't think it's quite enough damage. And he should just be dead here, right? <laughs> look, and look, by the time you do it, by the time you activate it, Ainz basically has the turn right back up. You can almost do it like one turn early. I mean, if you want, you could literally just activate him and blow him up like five times in a row, right? Okay, you guys could imagine how this is working, but I think that at its core, I think a lot of people thought that Ainz was going to be a Dark Corvus-esque unit, kind of slow-ish in terms of gameplay or game style. Uh, but, I mean, as you can see here, I mean, uh, wait, actually, what happens if I double S3? Can I put two of them on him? No, 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 no. No, you can't. Okay. I was curious if, like, maybe maybe you could do, like, 100,000 fixed damage. Okay, maybe not. Okay, so, of course, with Arena, you can kind of see how weird the teams look like right now. I'm going to try and basically pick a team that doesn't immediately one-shot him, but I want to try and fight against slower characters, maybe against a character like Janua and this Laia team. I do kind of want to see how much damage the Ainz can survive through. Uh, I have him on proof, and he definitely takes a lot of damage from light characters, but... As you can tell with the last rider crowd, it didn't do that that much damage. So maybe we'll be fine. I'm gonna try the top team. Let's get into it. Okay, so obviously I picked a team to counter the Death Dealer Ray, and I mean there's a Rowana, so oh wait, nice, nice, nice. Ainz has got his little counter attack up. I'm going to just S1 
the death dealer raid. Nothing. Oh. I was going to say nothing too fancy, but. Um, okay, so the character that I actually want to get one shot here is the Zeo, right? I think it's the Zeo. So the Zeo does the most damage here. And like, of course, I do want to eventually one shot things like the Last Rider Crow or one shot the Bellion. But with how many turns people are going to. Oh my god, that wasn't even on one. Wait, it wasn't even on Wondrous Potion Vial. Wait, I thought he was going to take an extra turn. Why? 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 Uh oh, here comes the counter. Uh oh. Uh, well, now I need HP. Uh, I don't think he can strip me, though. Or he, he can't provoke me yet, maybe? Wait, I have ER. I have ER, actually. I don't think anyone here gets... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So we're taking a bunch of turns. That's fine. That's fine. The Zeo's almost gone. Zeo's almost gone. Death Dealer Ray is doing his thing, but it's okay. All right, I mean, I mean, kind of looks like so long as you have like an answer to something and you can, pre you can prevent him from dying, like pick something like ML or, or pick something like Rowana into teams that punish you. I mean, it doesn't look like he's taking too much damage. Oh, that's on injury. Oh, we got to stop that. Okay. Stun. Oh. Okay. Oh, nice. Now it's really stunned. Okay. 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 Probably not the best idea to take Ainz into Bellion, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, he... Nice. Okay. Nice. S3 into our skill null. Oh, and now we proc our counter. This really isn't even that good of a thing to have happen, specifically because we're fighting against Last Rider Crow, but... Hey, but you know what I mean? Like, a dub's a dub. A dub's a dub, guys. Uh, I'm gonna throw this onto the Bellion. I mean, like, this is... This feels pretty unlosable for Arena. Like, honestly, if you just look at this, like, how how is he gonna stop? Okay. More turns being taken. More turns being taken. Counter. Five turns. It just, it just doesn't really seem like you can play slow now when Ainz is around. I mean, every single character is on a ticking timer. Like, on Iron, literally a ticking timer, actually. Uh, and even with this... I think it's on injury set, so I'm gonna let it touch. Bellion should get cut, I think, by my Moon Bunny here. This is his third S3. That was a decent amount of damage, I would say. But now he's just gone. Oof. Oof. Uh, ooh, that's not very good. Okay. That's fine. Eins has kind of got to get going, buddy. Uh, Eins, wee woo. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay, we have to run this onto the last rider crowd. Okay, the last rider crowd has got to go. He has got to go. He has got to go. There's no more. There's no more fooling around now. Okay. Give myself a barrier. Okay. Push back. Okay, nice, 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 nice. All right, all right. Death Dealer Ray is playing to our win con. Okay, thank you for the buff up, buddy. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We don't have to stun yet. We don't have to stun yet. That's fine. Okay, the cascade is fine. No debuffs. All right, all right, all right. And now we can heal. Now we can heal. Oh my goodness, this is so scary for Ainz. Okay, he's healing up a little bit. Right, right, right. Okay, nine. Soul burn. Oh, that's very bad. Oh, nice. Pop. Okay, okay, okay. All right, now, of course, there are, like, plenty of different other ways that you could have done this. 
But the idea behind this is that like, well, if you just wanted to just sit here and walk away from your keyboard, then that's what Eins is. That being said, I am a little bit underwhelmed uh, by the choices that I have. It kind of feels like right now, I don't really have a choice. If I'm going to be playing Eins, I have to be countering other characters with him. And then just because like everyone else got countered, well, now Eins is never going to, you know, basically ever die. I thought that maybe we could see a composition involving something like Knockwall to be like a little bit better, but the Knockwall would have to go before Ainz. Like, it, maybe if we pair her, maybe if we pair him with ML Politics, it'll look better. Okay. Anyways, guys, at the end of it all, it does feel like Ainz is definitely a bit more prone to taking light damage, of course, because that's how his S2 works. But just in terms of tankiness, uh, it doesn't feel like things outside of Aiden one-shot him necessarily, especially if you have mitigation. That being said, it does feel like you are definitely going to have to drop mitigation if you are going to play him. This isn't to say that, again, he doesn't take damage from things like Navy Captain Landy because it definitely hurts. But if you are pairing him with, again, mitigation or putting him in the back line with a character like Troublemaker Crusette, especially with something like Guild War or Arena, it feels like it's not that big of an issue. That being said, though, guys, I apologize because the servers have been, like, really buggy. I wasn't able to get that great of a showcase of how he does in RTA. But uh, in terms of my build for Ainz, it looked fine. Maybe I could make him a little bit tankier but slower. In any case, I think 100 ER, 100 F was fine for sometimes resisting debuffs. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe. Thank you again for watching, everyone. Good night.